Hey everyone, welcome to the first tutorial here on the channel. And today I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own custom buildings entirely in game using only procedural objects, some textures found on the internet, and of course some few props from the Steam Workshop. So these pictures here on screen are from my Pripyat series and these buildings are entirely made of procedural objects. So this tutorial will show you how you can make buildings just like this in your own cities. So we've all been there scrolling through the Steam Workshop trying to find a building that we have to have in our cities. But it's to no avail because it's simply not there. So I'm here to show you how I can turn something like this into this, this, or something like this. So in order to do this, you are gonna to need to download the procedural objects mod, the find it mod, as well as more procedural object textures. Now this one is not necessary, but it does give you 44 textures to start out with, as you can see. So you can make your own custom buildings with these textures, but most of them are more so for ground textures, such as some grass, dirt, or tiles. So if you wanna make a building, they're gonna be looking for more so for concrete textures or paneling, something like that. And that's where we'll show you how to find that on the internet. So to find your textures, a good place to go is simply textures.com. Here you'll be able to find everything from brick, concrete, doors, to ground textures, and everything in between. So for this tutorial, let's find ourselves a nice concrete texture. I'll be using this one here. And you'll have to create a free account in order to do this, but all you do is simply download the texture. It'll show up down here. And then you can find any other sort of textures you wish to find. So here's another one, glass just a side of a skyscraper perhaps. I'm gonna download this one as well. So next you're gonna to have to open a photo editor. I'm gonna be using GIMP, but you can also use Photoshop or any sort of web-based photo editor as well. So create a new, new file, ensure that it is 1024 by 1024 and create the save. Go ahead and then find the texture that you had. Here's the concrete one. Just go ahead and paste it over and then left click on this and it'll bring up the brightness and contrast settings. So in game, if something like this were to be converted into a texture and showed up in game, it'd be pretty bright. I would say overwhelmingly so. So you could go ahead and try this out without adjusting the brightness and see how it looks in your save. But for this tutorial, I'm going to head, go ahead and drop the brightness down here and then also kick up the contrast a bit so the cracks show. As you can see, the more contrast, the more cracks show. So I'm gonna put it to about there. Go ahead and hit okay. And then from there, just go ahead and save it. I'm going to save this as concrete four for myself. Hit save. I already had something as that, but it's all right. Next, since PO can only read PNG, you're going to have to export this as a PNG. So again, keep it as whatever you saved it as, concrete four in this case, and then hit export. Go ahead and hit export again, and then you are done with this texture. So next, you're gonna to have to open where you saved it. So in my case, pictures. Look for wherever it's saved which is right here. Go ahead and hit copy. And then you're gonna have your game opened. Here we are in City Skylines. And then search for cube. You can also search for square if you just wanna make like a decal type thing. You can use this thing here. But for our instance, I'm gonna be using a cube since that is how we're gonna be building our structures. So go ahead and click on that, hit convert into PO, hit open folder here, and this is gonna be where you place your custom textures. So go ahead and find where you had the new texture uploading, go ahead and drag that into there, and then hit refresh in procedural objects. Because as you can see, we have three textures currently. As I hit refresh, now we have four. So now I'm gonna click local textures, and then concrete Four. And there we have a textured cube. And you can go ahead at this point and look at it and see if it's the correct brightness, if you want to adjust the contrast at all, anything like this. But honestly, 
as I said already, it's great to just jack up the contrast a bit to start out with and decrease the brightness. And I think this texture looks pretty good. So now that you have your textures, let's see how you can actually build things. So here you can grab each vertex and drag and bend it as much as you want. There are some limitations though, however, such as right there, as you can see, pulling the vertex out at certain degrees that are not right angles can give you that nasty looking texture contortion, which is simply because with PO, everything has to be for the most part on right angles, so 90 degrees. And sometimes depending on the texture, it doesn't matter too much. So if you have a very plain concrete texture, you can do things like that and you won't notice as much. So really making anything with this besides a cube or rectangular shaped building, it is definitely more difficult. Certainly not impossible, but it will take more time as you actually have to place multiple cubes in order to gain those different edges and degrees and shapes. So anyways, here's a quick time lapse to show you the very, very basics of actually making your own building. Now keep in mind, this took me about 12 minutes to build this tiny little building here and is very under detailed, at least by my standards. So the point of this is not to show you how to make a particular building really, but just to show you the very basics. And then from that, you can experiment and develop your own sort of techniques and those sort of ideas to make up what you want. So the first two textures I placed down were the glass and concrete that I had showed you how to turn into textures to put into PO. And I was able to make the base of the building. So the base of the building being the glass there with the windows and then the edges of the building, I placed the concrete. Now with this, this concrete texture actually comes with the 44 texture pack that I talked about in the very beginning from the Steam Workshop. And with this, I was just going to kind of divide the windows so it looks like there's more floors and the texture is less repetitive. Now, this is just something easy. You can just hit control and drag the cube down or up or left and right, whatever which way you want to do. And that way, it'll just copy it to whatever location you wish. Next, I decided to show you another idea which is also limiting in some sense, but you know, in some degree it's worth it. So here I took this glass cube and then merged the vertices. You just select the top four uh, vertices of the cube and then hit merge vertices and it will do something like this. As you can see, the texture is slightly contorted, but when it comes down to it, you know, of course this is your very own unique building, something that no one else will have in their city because it is made of PO and it's completely unique to you, which is one reason why this is really cool. But I decided to keep that even though it wasn't perfect, even though the glass looks a little crooked, just because it does look cool. It gives you that glass sunroof look and I think it's something worth keeping. But anyways, here's when you can introduce some things besides just straight PO cubes. Here's a prop window and prop door, which I did convert into PO for the windows just so I can easily drag up these windows so they're equal, equally spaced and equally apart. And then you can just copy it over there just like that and do the same for all sides. So again, this is quite under detailed, uh, but for anyone who plays this game heavily detailed, then you know anything worth doing in this game is certainly worth overdoing and taking your sweet old time. So with the buildings I showed at the very beginning of this video, the three in my Pripyat series, those took me quite a while, ranging from two and a half-ish hours to over four hours to make. Now that's something I wasn't going to include that type of build in this short tutorial, since I wanted to keep it short and sweet so you can all understand. But again, once you know exactly the basics as I show in this video, then you can do whatever you want and take as much time as you want for your own buildings. But lastly here, I'm showing you how you can take the square PO and simply lower it and turn those into more or less decals. But so here is the finished product. As you can see, simple, but still cool in the sense that it's unique to your own city. Here are also the buildings that I made for my own Pripyat series, like this one here. You, I made it so there's an actual interior capable of seeing in for the pool, diving boards, and chairs. 
this one a little more detailed with multiple levels. So this is really just showing you how much you can possibly do with this mod and technique. So I hope this all gives you great ideas and ways to build new buildings and things in your city. If there's anything you didn't quite understand, let me know in the comments and I'd love to make a future tutorial video addressing some of the most common issues. But otherwise, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and I will see everyone here in another video.